Hopefully it sounds good. Um, God, I'm nervous. All right, here we go. Sounds great to me. Nice. Thank you, Dragon Taz. I appreciate it. Well, here we go. Let's do this. Um, uh, Giovanni. This is the Giovanni battle. Literally both times I've had to fight Giovanni in any runs that I do of this game are terrifying. I, I'm not going to lie. It's absolutely terrifying. Um, now, question. You're not weak to bug buzz. Okay, so I go for a psychic here. He doesn't switch. Interesting. I get a crit. Oh, that would have been so nice if I could have gotten a crit. Goes for the sludge bomb. That should be super effective, but I should live. No, it's not super effective. No, it's not super effective. That's right. Now I go for the kill. Psychic kills Nido King. One down. Let's go. Yes, one down. And we got four more to go. Not easy mons either. So this is going to be tough. Here we go. Okay, so who comes in here? Honchko does come in. All right. So I'm going to go for a protect to see what it does here. What are you going for? Sucker Punch. That's fine. I actually should have switched out. That would have been better there. Okay, so I'm actually going to go into Probo Pass here. We're going to switch. Oh, I wish it had gone for Sucker Punch again. So this is going to hurt. And that's a crit. Now, we have a Citrus Berry, but I am... Actually, let me do a Calc really quick attacks from the uh haunch grow because of the fact that it's doing 23 to 28 percent i'm gonna get 20 or 25 percent back from the citrus berry so i think here we just go for the i'm gonna go for the zap cannon mainly because of the fact that there's a chance we paralyze it's going for the heat wave surprisingly which i should be neutral to that it got a crit but i'm neutral to that interesting why it chose to do that now i'm back at 84 and i get the zap cannon off because i have no guard can I get the paralysis, please? Yes! Let's go! Oh my god, yes. Do I... Is there any chance in this universe I outspeed now? Oh, <gasps> I think I do. Get out of here. All right, so I'm going for a zap cannon predicting it switches here. No, I can kill it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Honch Crow is down. Oh my god amazing 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 all right so who comes out next infernate predictable okay so i go straight up for a protect what are you doing are you close combating let's get ready to track this so it goes for a close combat i'm gonna track that that is a first close combat that it's used okay so predicting a close combat again i switch into my ghost type which cannot be hit by a close combat no speed up here boys no speed up no speed up. Close combat number two. Close combat number two. We are tracking your attacks. So we go for the protect on turn one. We see what you go for. Is it Pyro Ball? Swords Dance. That's unfortunate. Okay. Yikes. Um, if he goes for any move outside of Pyro Ball right now on my Miss Magius, he's cheating. So I switch here, predicting the Pyro Ball. Unless he goes for another Sword Stance, which is fine. Okay, thank you. Flash Fire. So that's a Pyro Ball. So we got our first Pyro Ball used. Okay, so that's one Pyro Ball. Okay, so now we go Protect. Most likely Close Combat. Close Combat. All right, that's Close Combat number three. Okay, so we just Protected. So Close Combat... So now we switch into Miss Magius, predicting that he goes for another close combat. Yep, he goes for a close combat. That's number four. We are tracking this like crazy. I'm not messing this up. This strategy works so well. All right, so protect. Most likely a Pyro Ball here. Let's see, you ready? Pyro Ball, that's number two. Okay, he's used four close combats and a Pyro Ball. Two Pyro Balls, sorry. So, predicting another Pyro Ball, we switch into Trunks here. There's no reason for you to go for your last Close Combat or Thunder Punch. Pyro Ball, perfect. Okay, so, that's three Pyro Balls. So I go Protect, expecting that he's going to probably go, what, Close Combat here? Close Combat, that's five Close Combats down. 
So now he is going to go for a Pyro Ball. No, he's going to go for Thunder Punch. He has to go for Thunder Punch here because he knows he can't hit me with a Fire Move. So I'm switching into Crocodile because he cannot hit me with a Pyro Ball. He doesn't predict that I'm switching. He goes for the Swords Dance. That's okay. That's fine. That's perfect. He's got no more close combats. He's got two Pyro Balls left. So we protect... That's Pyro Ball number four. And when I switch here, this should be Pyro Ball number five. Yes. Okay. He is all out of Pyro Balls. He's all out of close combat. This strategy works like an absolute charm. Crocodile, come on in. And you cannot be hit by a Thunder Punch because you're part ground. This strategy is absolutely flawless. It's so good. So now I go for the power-up punch to get some boost in my stats. He's going to Swords Dance probably two more times. I'm going to go power-up punch, get some damage, chip damage. Yep, that's fine. I get one boost. He's going to switch. That's fine. He's going to probably go into the Rotom here. No, he goes into the Kangaskhan. Interesting. So I've got... I've, I'm plus two here now. Oh... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. You're almost at 50%. I'm pretty sure I just go for a brick break here and I it's GG. I kill him here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna protect because he's gonna go for the he's gonna go for the fake out. If he doesn't, that's fine. I still protect him, stop him from doing power up punch. Guys, oh my gosh, what a good battle. What a good battle this has been so far. If I and with the boosts, that helps my crunch out on Rotom. If I kill Kangaskhan here. So I go for the Brick Break. I outspeed. This should kill. Yep. Bye, Kangaskhan. Mega Kangaskhan. What a joke. So we have killed everyone now. No, we haven't. I'm sorry. Infernape is still around. So, But you can't do anything to me. So I can just power up punch you. I'm fine. You don't have any more close combats. And you don't have any more power... Uh, uh, Pyro balls. So I, you can SD all you want. I don't care, dude. <laughs> what a good battle this has been. I'm plus three now. One crunch absolutely obliterates Rotom. I If I look at Rotom, it's going to fall off the side of the earth. Oh my gosh. I'm not a flat earther, by the way. Don't worry. There it goes. The Infernape. It's defeated. We have killed Nidoking, Honchkrow, Infernape, Kangaskhan, Mega Kangaskhan. Now all we've got left is the Rotom. Frank is a Flat Earther confirmed. I swear I'm not. Crunch, we outspeed. Bye-bye, GG. OMG. What a battle. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. If you guys want a battle to use as an example on how to beat Giovanni in this game. That is how you do it. Zero deaths. Round of applause for me. G freaking G. I played that like a pro. Like a pro. I, uh, I can't tell you guys how satisfying it is when you use calcs and you go through and prep your team and look at numbers and look at stats and look at the team and prep for days before for it all to work out perfectly. Mwah. Oh. It's so, it's so satisfying. It really is.